Alrighty, so here we have uh, vocab for 1-4, quite a few words. Hopefully you've seen these before. We'll take a little bit of time with them, though. First off, equivalent expressions. That's an algebraic expression. Remember, there's no equal sign there. That have the same value for all values of the variable. Might seem a little weird, but again, for an example, something like uh, a plus b, right? You know that's going to be the same as b plus a. It doesn't matter what I put in it in there because I know that addition is both commutative and associative. Likewise, if, it's, if I say x times y, no matter what I put in there, it's going to be the same as y times x. Same proper, or going to be the exact same value. Equivalent expressions. Here we have the commutative, not commutative, commutative property of addition and multiplication. Um, commute means to move, like I commute back and forth to work, right? Which I do. I drive from Fremont to Bellevue. Um, so things commute, they move around. What this says is changing the order of add-ins does not change the sum. Changing the order of factors does not change the product. For instance, 2 plus 3 is the same as 3 plus 2. Or 7 times 5 is the same as 5 times 7. I commuted them, I moved them, and they have the exact same value in both cases. Here we have the associative property of addition and multiplication. Associate means who you hang out with. So changing the grouping of add-ins does not change the sum. Changing the grouping of factors does not change the sum. What that looks like is if I have, if I put it with just variables, I can say A times B times C is the same as A times B times C. Notice I did not change the order. I only change the association. Now we can change the order too, but that would mean it's commutative property. This is associative property. So, um, and again, same thing with addition. If I have, uh, I'm going to use real numbers this time, 7 plus 2 plus 3 will yield the same result as 7 plus 2 plus 3. Exact same uh, sum but again, notice order did not change. That is extremely important here. Only the association, the parentheses, is what changed. Okay, this one I call one of those kind of like, uh, duh, properties. The sum of any real number and zero is the original number. So additive identity. In other words, no matter what I add zero to, it does not change. So four plus zero, I know you're going to be surprised, is still four. Right? There you go. There's your example. Alrighty, um, additive inverse property. This relies on an understanding of opposite numbers. For every real number a, there is an additive inverse, or the opposite number, uh, opposite of a, such that if I add them together, I get zero. An example in numbers would be four plus its opposite of negative four, oddly enough, equals zero. Additive identity property. Multiplicative identity. The product of one in any real number is the original number. Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh, but that's one of those things you're like, duh, we might have learned this before. So what I'm saying is three times one is still three. Nothing changed. Another one you might be aware of, multiplicative inverse. For every non-zero number, again, that's non-zero. We'll discuss the zero thing later. Uh, there is a multiplicative inverse, one over a, such that when I multiply them, I get one. So for instance... 4, right, times its multiplicative inverse, multiplicative inverse, that's a fun word, times 1 fourth is 4 over 4, which is the number 1. Tough to see on that green there. But anyway, there you go, multiplicative inverse. We'll make it red. That's better. The zero property of multiplication. The product of any real number and zero is zero. I know that weirds you out. I know that's new to you. Not really, I'm joking. So uh, if we have 5 times 0, you're going to get 0. That's it. Okay, another shocking one. The product of negative 1 and any real number is the opposite of the real number. So if I say 3, so negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Likewise, negative 1 times, say, negative 4 is its opposite of positive 4 multiplicative property of negative 1.